Hey everyone, um, this is my first video on my channel, and I figured I would make it something that was more relevant, and I just wanted to do a video for Giovanna, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, and honestly I care less, Giovanna Plowman. Um, the whole controversy over her eating her tampon, and this is, this is for you. Basically, I'm not making it for anyone else, but for you, because I figured if this video could get somewhat viral, maybe you'll be able to see it, but I don't have any high expectations. But, what I want to say to you personally, is you are the reason why we're, like, you are just a picture-perfect example of what's wrong with our generation. You show teenagers that really, you can do stupid shit to get famous eat your tampon, at least that's what you wanted people to believe the first day it was out. You did that in order to gain popularity. You posted, oh, I'm somewhat famous now, because that's all it was for you. You come out and say, oh, I did it for my friends. You knew that it was going to blow up. Girl eating a tampon, people just eat that shit up. Now you're sharing guys' videos of him eating his shit. That, that dude's fucking crazy. Who would deliberately eat their own shit? Right now, you're, like, the biggest thing out there. People are going to try to get up to your standard right now of the whole eating nasty shit thing. And it's not going to work because you're just at the top level right now. People are making fun of you. I really hope you can take it. Honestly, I know any other person would probably have killed themselves because of the crazy things that are being posted. I personally think they're funny, and I think you deserve it. But regardless, you... I don't know whether it's about the popularity or the fame to you, but... Judging by it, I think it's a little bit of both. I don't know if you have some self-esteem issues, but I looked at your Facebook a little bit, and you seem like the person who would, not to be offensive or anything, but um, I, if that's a way that you're trying to vent over, like, self-consciousness and stuff, eating your fucking tampon to let people, like, gain popularity, in a sense, because people, people will be like, oh, look, this shit's nasty, watch this video, eventually so many people will watch it, you get thousands of likes on your status, does that make you feel good? Does that make you feel like you're known for something important? If you, just a message to anyone watching this, if you want to be known for something, do something amazing, start, start a freaking charity or something, help somebody, don't eat your fucking matter that comes out of your body that should not be eaten to have people watch a video of you eating it so you gain popularity. Anybody could do that. Anybody can literally be like, oh, I got a tampon, let's eat it. Really, anybody could do that. It takes a person, a real person, to go out and make a change in our world. To be able to make even a change in one life. To get respected for that, to get known for that, to get famous for that. That's something you get respected for. Not eating a tampon, yeah, you're known, but people hate you, you just get, if you have one person who respects you for eating that, I'm very surprised, and I guess it worked in the way of letting people get to know you, but in the sense of the final conclusion of your whole bandwagon situation, it is a complete failure, yeah, you're known like you wanted, but everybody knows who you are, and you are hated, and you got other people eating their shit, that's just one example that I know, and you got another video of a chick, you actually see her pull the tampon out of her vagina, she did what you did, but she actually did it, you know, you are fucking up teenagers right now, you're, you're gonna sh set a standard of, oh, if you do something crazy enough, if you post a video on Facebook, something crazy enough, maybe you just blow up, Maybe people will just realize that you're someone. You know, we're all a part of society. There's billions of people out there. There's only, a, like, a very select few names that someone can give off the top of their head of people that they know in the world, like famous people. And if you want that 15 minutes just to be one of those people that someone can name off the top of their head, like famous people that they know, like, literally, it's just like the Amanda Todd thing. Not really much. I May she rest in peace. But... That's, like, her thing. Like, she had her 15 minutes of fame. Um, I can't really name a lot right now, but just people with the 15 minutes of fame, like, you wanted it, you got it, you're gonna die down eventually. Um, the long-term effects, the long-term effects, um, are probably gonna be, affect you and not other people. They're just gonna affect you. 
you're gonna, when people say Giovanna or whatever, Plowman, they're gonna think, oh, that chick that ate that tampon. Ugh, do I really wanna be associated with her? You're gonna make teens believe this shit. You're gonna make teens believe you do this, you be like me, you do some nasty shit. Do you, do you really think your parents would respect you for eating your own fucking bl v vaginal secretion? Do you really think your parents would, like, do you think if you wanted to get into a college one day, I don't know how fuck old you are, but if you're in high school and you're trying to get into a college, do you really think a college is going to want to accept you, knowing, oh, she fucking posted a video of her eating a tampon? Really? Do you think that that's going to affect you positively long term? My message to everyone besides her who's probably watching, I don't even know if she's going to watch it because she's probably so caught up in everything going on right now, but if you're watching this, my message to you is do not get caught up in this. Do not be one of those people who are now posting videos of them doing crazy shit. Do something people will remember you and respect you for. You see, you got Michael Jackson, the king of music. He did amazing things for society. You know? But, people know him for the whole child molestation charges and stuff. You got celebrities with stuff like that who've done amazing things, but they did one thing, and it messed everything up. You can go on Giovanna or whatever have a successful career, have a successful life, but the one thing that the masses are going to know you for is that situation. My message to everyone, do not get caught up in that. Go out, do something amazing that even change one life. Do something for somebody. That's how you should be known. If you want to gain popularity, do it through that. Don't do it. People gain popularity through bullying, doing drugs, all this stupid shit. If you want to be respected in the long run and do beneficial things to society, I suggest you go out, do something, change lives, change people, change the masses. Alright, don't follow this girl who does something so disgusting for money and fame. Do not do that. Just That's, that's how you get it handed to you. You took the easy way out. You did something easy to get what you wanted, and I have no respect for you at all. You carried it out so poorly. And I have, I think everybody will remember you for this. Actually, I know that. You'll get your 15 minutes of fame. You want to be remembered for the tampon girl? The tampon vampire? You really want to be remembered for that? I'm not judging your lifestyle. I'm just judging your mistake. I don't know if you'd consider a mistake to give me money and fame, but it was a pretty stupid way to do it. Now, I'm not going to carry this on any longer. Just remember my message to anyone else watching this besides her. Just do something respectable that you'll be remembered.